Good evening. Welcome to APTN National News. I'm Dennis Ward. School's in session for most kids this week. In Manitoba, more than 150 First Nation children are leaving their communities for high school in a new $24 million facility. They will spend the next nine months living and learning in Winnipeg. Brittany Hobson brings us more. This is a photography class too. It's the start of a new school year and Justice Ross is getting ready for her senior year of high school. The 17-year-old attends and lives at Southeast Collegiate, a private school for First Nation kids from 16 remote communities. This is her third year at the school. She left God's Lake Narrows when she was 15. It wasn't that hard because I was excited to start on my own and because my reserve is so small there's not much to do out there so it was easy to leave. Ross is one of the 156 students who calls Southeast Collegiate home. For the first time since it opened its doors in 1996, students are starting the school year in brand new facilities. It is a Minister of Indigenous Services Jane Philpott was on hand for the grand opening. Like this. this is the present and the future of Indigenous education in this country to be entirely Indigenous designed, led, managed, directed. The $24 million extended campus includes 10 new classrooms, a gymnasium and new residents. This is not a neighbourhood school of convenience like most schools, rather it's a destination school that is pursued and valued, a school of choice. Philpott called the new facilities a model other schools can look to, but acknowledged it's up to First Nations to decide what works best. The important thing that happens is that communities decide for themselves what works for them, what will meet the needs of their students, so it wouldn't be for me to, to suggest that this would necessarily be the right model. The school incorporates land-based education and cultural programming in its curriculum. For Ryan Ross, moving away from home for school has given him the ability to create a new family. At home, my, my community is a little lonely, but whenever I come here, it's, it's just like an extended family. Everyone here is just, it's so nice to talk to everyone and have, feel like a normal person. Since opening its doors, 515 students have graduated from Southeast Collegiate. Justice Ross can't wait to add her name to the list. Looking forward to getting that diploma and making my family proud. And um, I can't wait to go to college and see what it's like. Brittany Hobson, ABTN National News, Winnipeg. And we'd like to hear what you think. Here's how to continue the conversation. Send your emails to news at aptn.ca. Find us online at aptnnews.ca and on youtube.com slash aptnnews. Also, you can follow APTN News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more Indigenous news. In Yellowknife, the RCMP are facing criticism and scrutiny for what many are calling the unjust treatment of a teenage sexual assault victim. Charlotte Mort Jacobs has the details. It was right here at a Yellowknife movie theater where a 13-year-old girl was sexually assaulted in May of 2017. But the victim was not taken to hospital. Instead, she spent the night in jail, arrested for public intoxication. The crime was captured by these surveillance cameras above the theater's doors. When RCMP arrived at the scene, the theater employee told the police she had been raped. Now the RCMP are coming under fire for not supporting the victim and not taking her to the hospital. The perpetrator, Wade Capacatoac, pled guilty to the assault in August and was convicted of sexual assault. But the judge then criticized the RCMP on how they treated the victim. It appears the victim was not treated with dignity and compassion that she or any victim of a sexual assault deserves. According to the judge's ruling, the victim, who was drunk and homeless, would not cooperate with the police on the night of the attack. The next day, the victim was released from a jail cell without charges and without a rape kit being completed. The local detachment declined an interview with APTN but provided this written statement. Our review is looking at how we applied our policy and training 
the totality of the circumstance. We will also be looking at our interactions with a victim during and after and any support services offered. Wade Capacadoic will be back in court October 10th for sentencing. Charlotte Mark Jacobs, ABC National News, Yellowknife. In Australia, kids in one Indigenous community are struggling with many of the same issues that youth face here in Canada. And not going to school is one of them. But one Australian police officer is trying to change that by bringing two promising students with her to Calgary to learn about the world and themselves. Tamara Pimentel reports. At the Mokinsis camp in downtown Calgary, the Strong Woman song is performed for these Indigenous girls who are role models in their community. 15-year-old Chanel, 14-year-old Kaylisha, and their support adult Kristinelle are Anandeliaqua from the remote Groot Island in Northern Australia. They traveled halfway across the globe to Calgary. It's their first time leaving their community. I like it now. Like we're gonna have a little bit more fun in Canada. They said that we're gonna go out to the snow. The trip was organized by Senior Constable Deb Blackwell of the Northern Territory Police Force. She's been working on the island since 2015. Groot Island has the worst school attendance rate in all of Australia. So Blackwell put out an initiative. If the students attended school and were respectful to community members, they had a chance to come to Canada with her for the International Police Conference and visit First Nations communities. Congratulations, girls. You're coming to Canada. These girls kept up their attendance and won the trip. What I hope to achieve out of this whole exercise is I want to take home three dynamic leaders that have an influence in other members of their community. So by experiencing international travel, by seeing the things that they've seen. The group spent over a week in Alberta representing their community at the police conference, seeing snow for the first time at the Columbia ice field and attending their first rodeo. The Tutina Nation welcomed them with gifts and a tour of the reserve. From a bumpy tractor ride around the Buffalo paddock to the medical clinic, school and Sutina police station. Blackwell says the tour gave the group a chance to see the similarities and differences between Sutina and their own community. They have similar issues, similar social problems, um, school attendance as well, um, but this community is so much more progressed in the sense and I wanted the kids to identify and link in and just see what it can be. When, um, when things have progressed. They ended their trip with a visit to the Mokinsis teepee camp, where they shared stories with people from Treaty 7. This is something that they can identify with, things that they've never done before, things that they've never seen before, that it can open their eyes and their mind to the big wide world. It's been wonderful watching their confidence grow, watching them speak more confidently. The girl's message to other youth back home. To get education. Telling, telling them to go to school. So that they too can become leaders in their community on Groot Island. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Calgary. Quite an experience. Six Indigenous people were honoured by the Governor General today. Details on that and more coming up after the break. Here's a look at Friday's weather forecast starting on the east coast. Rain in 28 in Halifax, showers in 26 for Charlottetown. 11 under the sun in Nain, rain in 15 for Happy Valley, Goose Bay. 20 with rain in Saguenay, one degree warmer in Quebec City with rain. 18 in Val d'Or. 22 in Sarnia with showers. Rain and 25 for Toronto and Peterborough, a sunny high of 18 in Sault Ste. Marie. 18 under the sun as well in Thunder Bay, one degree warmer and sunny in Sioux Lookout. Over to northern Manitoba, plus 9 for Puckettawagon and Thompson, 12 in the Paw with sunny skies. In Winnipeg, 25 under the sun, 29 for Brandon, 20 and sunny in Dauphin. In Saskatchewan, 25 and sunny and swift current, 24 in Regina, 
20 in North Battleford. 14 and rain in Uranium City. 15 with rain on Friday in Stony Rapids. Welcome back. He's gone from starring in The Lion King to Aladdin. Graham Isako Purcell is in a whole new world. After securing the lead role in the hit Disney show Aladdin, the Auckland Rays performer has returned home recently to share his excitement with family. Our friends at Maori Television have the story. He's the Maori Samoan Aladdin, and his wish has been granted. After 21 years in Australia, the role of a lifetime is bringing Graham Isiako Purcell back home to Aotearoa. I grew up in New Zealand, in Auckland, good old Tamaki and Pamua, um, and it's amazing. It's amazing to be back home, and I, f I feel all of the aroha. Hey, you left your room this morning. Just sharing a really special moment with my grandma, playing the piano and singing those songs that bring back memories. Did you shoot for love and favor? He loves singing. Singing, singing. If we go in the church, he likes singing. Got to see the Fano, you know. Got to have my cream buns. Got to have my mince and cheese pies. I remember my grandfather. He's the rock. Just his nature, you know. There's a good five or six houses in, you know, just around here, and he would mow all their lawns. He didn't ask them. He'd just go and do it. He was just a man of service. The best memory that I had. That I had a really wonderful male role model in my in my life. I endeavour with all my heart to do that for my wife and my family now, my son, and want to be that to my family. The 29-year-old has been a professional performer since he was 11. He found fame in Australia as a contestant on the TV show, So You Think You Can Dance. My original and always, and to this day, singing has always been my number one love. You know, it's my passion. I feel it right to the core of my heart. I'm really proud of my brother. So it's really cool to see him on stage doing what he loves. Um, we're all excited. Now he's come back now. That's your blessing. Singing. <laughs> like I'm singing. <laughs> Graham played Simba in The Lion King and was a cast member in Aladdin before securing the lead for its New Zealand's debut. Yeah, I got a promotion, mate. <laughs> no, yeah, I did. I guess you could say I did. I did get a promotion. Um, but I'm excited. You know, I'm really excited to take on the role. Graham was in New Zealand last week to promote the Disney show, which opens here in January. He brought with him Australian actress Shubshree Kandia, who plays Princess Jasmine. Hey guys, this is my family. This is Shubshree, that's Kiana, and Lofi. Hi. And this is my Nana. <laughs> Like I heard the stories, so it's so nice to see the place, and it's really nice to see it and, and meet his family. And it's a, just a beautiful house. I'm like so happy to be here. Nice. I want to see this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Isn't that bird? It is different. It's so different, eh? The cows, the grass, the dairy. Boom. No. <laughs> to come to your grandmother's house to see like where you grew up, it's 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 really Special nice. Special lane. Yeah. 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 But if you look straight ahead, yeah. that's where my father used to live, and so yeah. he grew up there, in that house there. Mum grew up here. They <laughs> fell in love. Best. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. That's their own Jasmine Aladdin little yeah. story, you know? <laughs> yeah. So this is my old world, and this is our whole new world. Uh. <laughs> A whole new world. A whole new world. That's 
That's where we'll be. That's where we'll be. A feeling chair. A wondrous place for you and me. The eyes of the entertainment world are once again on Toronto as the 2018 edition of the Toronto International Film Festival gets underway today. Any man or woman who would give shelter to him or his ranks is to be executed without trial. The people are desperate for The historic drama Outlaw King has been chosen for the festival's opening night gala. Chris Pine stars as Robert the Bruce who defeated the English army in Scotland in the 14th century. Other anticipated films include A Star is Born and First Man. An estimated half a million people will attend the more than 340 films that are being screened over the festival's 11 days. Also debuting at TIFF this year is Through Black Spruce, an adaptation of Joseph Boyden's book starring Tina Keeper, Graham Greene and Tantu Cardinal. That's your APTN National News for this Thursday. For news anytime, visit our website, aptnnews.ca. I'm Dennis Ward. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Welcome back. He's gone from starring in The Lion King to Aladdin. Graham Isako Purcell is in a whole new world. After securing the lead role in the hit Disney show Aladdin, the Auckland Rays performer has returned home recently to share his excitement with family. Our friends at Maori Television have the story. He's the Maori Samoan Aladdin, and his wish has been granted. After 21 years in Australia, the role of a lifetime is bringing Graham Isiako Purcell back home to Aotearoa. I grew up in New Zealand, in Auckland, good old Tamaki and Pamua, um, and it's amazing. It's amazing to be back home, and I, f I feel all of the aroha. Hey, left your room this morning. Just sharing a really special moment with my grandma, playing the piano and singing those songs that bring back memory. He loves singing. Singing, singing. If we go in the church, he likes singing. Got to see the whanau, you know, got to have my cream buns, got to have my mince and cheese pies. I remember my grandfather, he's the rock, just his nature, you know, there's a good five or six houses in, you know, just around here and he would mow all their lawns. He didn't ask them, he'd just go and do it. He was just a man of service. The best memory that I had, that I had a really wonderful male role model in my, in my life. I endeavour with all my heart to do that for my wife and my family now, my son, and want to be that to my family. The 29-year-old has been a professional performer since he was 11. He found fame in Australia as a contestant on the TV show, So You Think You Can Dance. My original and always, and to this day, singing has always been my number one love. You know, it's my passion. I feel it right to the core of my heart. I'm really proud of my brother. So it's really cool to see him on stage doing what he loves. Um, we're all excited. Now he's come back now. That's your blessing. Singing. <laughs> like I'm singing. <laughs>
Graham played Simba in The Lion King and was a cast member in Aladdin before securing the lead for its New Zealand's debut. Yeah, I'm a promotion, mate. <laughs> no, yeah, I did. I guess you could say I did. I did get a promotion, um, but I'm excited. You know, I'm really excited to take on the role. Graham was in New Zealand last week to promote the Disney show, which opens here in January. He brought with him Australian actress Shubshri Kandia, who plays Princess Jasmine. Hey guys, this is my family. This is Shubshri, it's Kiana, and Luffy. Hi. Hi. And this is my Nana. <laughs> Like, I heard the story, so it's so nice to see the place, and it's really nice to see it and, and meet his family, and it's a, just a beautiful house. I'm, like, so happy to be here. Nice. I want to see this. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, it is different. Huh? It's so different, eh? The cows, the grass, the dairy. Boom. No. <laughs> to come to your grandmother's house to see, like, where you grew up, it's, it's, it's really Special nice. Special lane. Yeah. 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 But if you look straight ahead, yeah. that's where my father used to live, and so yeah. he grew up there, in that house there. Mum grew up here. They <laughs> fell in love. Place. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Huh? That's their own Jasmine Aladdin little yeah. story, you know? <laughs> yeah. So this is my old world, and this is our whole new world. Uh. <laughs> A whole new world. A whole new world. That's where we'll be. That's where we'll be. A thrilling tale, a wondrous place for you and me. The eyes of the entertainment world are once again on Toronto as the 2018 edition of the Toronto International Film Festival gets underway today. Any man or woman who would give shelter to him or his ranks is to be executed without trial. The people are desperate. For the historic drama Outlaw King has been chosen for the festival's opening night gala. Chris Pine stars as Robert the Bruce, who defeated the English army in Scotland in the 14th century. Other anticipated films include A Star is Born and First Man. An estimated half a million people will attend the more than 340 films that are being screened over the festival's 11 days. Also debuting at TIFF this year is Through Black Spruce, an adaptation of Joseph Boyden's book starring Tina Keeper, Graham Greene and Tantu Cardinal. That's your APTN National News for this Thursday. For news anytime, visit our website aptnnews.ca. I'm Dennis Ward. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.